The year was 2255. The place? Egypt. One man's innocent dream had turned into a nightmare, and back into a dream again. Parshat Vayechi. Family ties. Things can get really complicated between siblings. These had been difficult years for Jacob's family. First the business with his brother Esau, where he'd put on a disguise, dressed up as Esau, taken the firstborn blessing. Then there were the two sisters he ended up marrying as the result of some trickery from his father-in-law. And finally, the business with Joseph. But now, Joseph was the Prime Minister of all Egypt and reunited with his father. Jacob wanted to make sure that the family would live in peace forever. According to the commentator Rashi, Jacob got ready to reveal a prophecy that would tell them how to live in peace. He got ready to speak, prepared, but the words just wouldn't come. He'd lost his vision. Jacob moved to the edge of the bed and sat up to speak. Joseph, I have one last request. It's nearly time for me to go the way of my father's, but when I'm gone, please take my bones back to the Holy Land. Father, I will do exactly what you have asked. Thank you. Now, remember how God appeared to me, promising we'd become a fruitful people, and that the Holy Land would be ours for eternity. Alas, your poor mother Rachel died on the travels to Ephrat, and she is buried in Bethlehem. Jacob was buying time, trying to find the prophecy that would save his family, but nothing came. So he prepared to bless his grandsons. Joseph placed Manasseh the firstborn to Jacob's right and Ephraim to the left. Jacob reached his hands forward and then crossed them over. Joseph tried to switch the hands back. After all, the firstborn blessing comes from the right hand. But his father knew exactly what he was doing. Manasseh will become great, but his younger brother Ephraim will be far greater. His offspring will fill the nations, and people will bless their children to be like your two sons. The grandsons were happy, but Jacob still tried to find the prophecy he was looking for. His vision was weak, so on he went, blessing his children. Reuben, the eldest of sons. Shimon and Levi, passionate ones. Judah, a lion, keeper of law. Zebulun, you dwell right by the seashore. Issachar, a worker. Dan, a judge. Gad, whose armies will battle and trudge. Asher, a baker. Naphtali. Behind. Joseph, the beauty winning girls' hearts and minds. Binyamin, a wolf cub, your tribe will be strong. And Jacob then died. His soul moved along. Joseph immediately spoke to the Pharaoh, his boss, and asked for compassionate leave to bury his father. A huge state funeral took place, and people mourned for seven days. But the brothers were scared. Perhaps, now Dad was gone, Joseph would kill them in revenge for the whole business over the multicoloured coat. Ah, uh, Joseph! Yeah, Joseph! Uh, just a quick word. We're really sorry. Before Dad died, <coughs> he said you should forgive us for the horrible thing we did to you. Please don't kill us. We'll be your slaves. Anything! Joseph just cried. His brothers fell to their knees. Brothers, you tried to harm me. But God intended this for good. If you hadn't abandoned me, I wouldn't have this job and be in the place to save millions of people. Despite everything, I love you. And so, there was no prophecy needed after all. They lived happily ever after. And at 110 years old, Joseph lay down for his eternal sleep while his great-great-grandchildren played outside. Joseph had suffered a lot in his life. But he kept his faith in God, and things turned out better than he could have ever expected. It's easy for us to get upset when things don't turn out how we'd like, but perhaps it's for the best. We can't see the bigger picture at the time, but maybe someone else can. Our job is to do the best we can do, whatever life may throw at us. Trust that the future will be great, even though we don't have prophecy. 
And when you really stop and look at things, the present moment is generally pretty good. Chazak, chazak, v'nit chazek. Be strong, be strong and may we be strengthened.